Hello, my name is Alex Kondoforo, and I am Data Science Competence Leader at Alteksoft. And today we'll talk about our hyper terms, artificial intelligence, data science, big data, machine learning, and even deep learning. I'll try to draw boundaries between them and explain how they differ. We'll start with data science. Data science tries to make sense of, well, data, and sometimes teaches machines to do it. It unites the knowledge of mathematics, programming, databases, and subject matter expertise to analyze data, extract valuable information and insights, and build predictive models. Imagine that you run a platform like Yelp or TripAdvisor, and after some time, you realize that some companies play unfair and pay for fake reviews to draw a better image of their brands. Well, you have a problem. How to recognize those fake reviews? We can look at the text themselves. We know the time they were published and the ratings. We also know the location of the reviewer, the frequency of posts and the other data. But nothing in this data tells us directly that this review is fake and the other one is genuine. We can suppose some things about fake reviews. That this may be perfect ratings for a branch, or multiple reviews have similar phrases, or they were sent around the same time. But should we delete all such reviews? The problem is, real reviews can have all these characteristics as well. Some products are actually great and receive perfect ratings. And if there was a recent product release, many people will be commenting on it at the same time. And finally, people can use similar or even identical phrases. Instead of guessing, scientists and engineers decided to make computers analyze data to find meaningful dependencies between different bits of information. For instance, if many first-time reviewers sent 5-star ratings between 2 and 5 a.m. with similar phrases inside, it's likely to be fake. Ok, great, now we know which reviews are fake. But what we can do with this information? We can hire people to read all these messages, look for intrinsic combinations of parameters that signal that the review is fake or not. But what if we have thousands of reviews every day, or hour? It's better to make a machine do it. So, we want to analyze each review and classify them automatically. Here is when another field of data science comes in place, machine learning. We've talked about machine learning in our previous video. Feel free to check it out for more details. Machine learning allows us to take a lot of data and let a machine recognize dependencies and patterns in the data in order to solve a particular problem. This process is called training. By training machines, we don't have to explicitly write exact algorithms for them, explaining in every detail how to solve a particular task. Instead, we let the machines find out how to do it by itself. In our case, we would provide an algorithm with thousands of proven real and fake reviews to train it at distinguishing between them. So it will look for intricate dependencies all by itself. Once successfully trained, the algorithm can look at a new review and tell whether it's fake or real, with some probability, obviously. Now that a machine can distinguish between fake and real reviews, we want to let it act upon this knowledge. And that's when the term artificial intelligence comes into place. You can understand AI differently. The classical understanding of AI is a system that behaves like a human. It can learn, communicate, solve problems and reason as we do. Such a system would be called strong AI. And today, strong AI is something we've seen only in sci-fi movies. Simply put, scientists haven't invented it yet. So, when you hear AI, it usually means narrow or weak AI. Weak AI is trained using machine learning to solve a specific narrow problem and nothing else. And that's enough for our problem. We need a system that recognizes fake reviews, deletes some of them which it's fully confident about, and asks for human assistance when it has some doubts. Simply put, it decides what to do with every new review based on the knowledge received via training, similar to what humans do. Big data is the final concept I would like to talk about. It looks like big data has the most misconceptions among the others. When somebody talks about big data, they usually link it directly to artificial intelligence or data science. In reality, it doesn't necessarily connect it to them. Then, what is that? Consider this. Yelp alone has 170 million reviews. About 300 hours of video content is uploaded to YouTube every second. And back in 2017, about 500 million of stories were posted to Instagram every day. That's a lot of data. The term big data gained popularity in late 2000s. Today, it means collecting, processing, 
retrieving, analyzing, and extracting insights from large and complex datasets. There are three main characteristics of such datasets. First, they are large, obviously. Second, they are continuously generated. New data comes every second and faster. And third, the data in most cases is variable. But dealing with big data doesn't necessarily mean that you need to apply machine learning or data science. Usually, your problem with big data is how to capture large volumes of information, process it, store it, and query it fast. Basically, working with big data is quite a complicated task on its own. There are multiple software products designed specifically to handle it. And specialists who work with big data are usually called data or big data engineers, not data scientists or machine learning engineers. These specialists have different sets of skills and even use completely different sets of tools. Data engineers are not doing statistics, machine learning, or build other types of algorithms. And normally, data scientists do not know how to set up, configure, or program big data computing clusters. And that's it for today. In the next video, we'll discuss which kinds of problems AI systems can solve nowadays, and also review some real-life applications. Like the video, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.